Flip Life family, how the heck are you? Today I want to show you something called resellerkit.app. It's a way to cross this between eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. If you've never used it, I think you might find it helpful, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, thank you again for stopping back in again today. I thoroughly appreciate it. So today, maybe the first question you have is what's up with this? I don't know either. I wake up with like this jovial silliness all the time and my hair's been growing out longer. I've been wearing it back. It gets in my face. It's annoying. So I just created that just for the fun of it. Honestly though, today is the first day of summer break for my daughter and she thinks I'm the funniest thing ever. So I'm always trying to entertain her. And I just did this and came back in the room. It's like, Hey Ella, check this out. And she was like, what are you doing? Ha ha. Anyway, you're not here to hear about hair. Say that three times fast. You're here to hear about resellerkit.app. If you've never heard of it, it's a desktop application only, not mobile, that you can use to relist from, excuse me, I should say to cross list from Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark, any of those combinations. So you can take something from Poshmark, put it on Mercari, or Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. All that can work with this app. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was told about it by a friend I have that, that resells clothes, and it's worked pretty well so far. So I wanna give you guys a run through of how it works, what it looks like, and the cost and all those questions you have. So let's flip over to the webpage. The name of the website is resellerkit.app. As I just said, it's a cross-listing app for eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And right here at the top, they start off with the good stuff. It's free to start, you don't need a credit card. There's no subscription to this. Every month, you get 50 free listings. If you need more, you can pay for those, but we'll show you that in a second. They also have a service called Autopilot. It will scan for your items that have sold and delist them where they're also listed. Very helpful. You can go watch the How It Works video on your own time. Once again, it is only a desktop application, so you can use it on Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. Right here on the website is where you can download it. Let's just say we're starting it for the first time. I'm going to show you guys what it's like on the other end. Here at my desktop, I've got the icon front and center, so we're going to open it, and this is what we see. This is the sessions tab. You'll see your information where you're logged in. As you can see, I have zero items remaining because I've already used them. In seven days, I'll have 50 more free. But however, today I need to buy some because I've got a lot of listing to do. Let's take a look at the pricing structure. So the very first thing I see, payments are not reoccurring. So if you buy one of the packages, it's not every month. It's only when you need it. There's a 30 day back money guarantee. If you're not happy, they'll take care of it for you. Here are the packages, free, is no dollars it's free 50 listings that's what we just spoke about basic is nine dollars for a hundred plus 14 for 200 advanced 29 for 750 they really jump you up there pro 69 dollars for 2500 listings and every one of these non-expiring plus you get your 50 free every month so might as well add 50 to every one of these because each month you're going to get those and that's what the asterisk says right here you will not lose monthly free packages, which is 50 listings every 30 days when you purchase these. So today I'm going to buy the basic. And then next month, I'll, well, in seven days, I'll have 50 plus what I ever have left here. So let's start. And there we are, 100 new listings. That was simple. So to get your listings going, you're gonna click on import. Where would you like to list it from? I'm gonna grab from eBay, and today I'm only gonna to go to Mercari. It's now importing all of my eBay listings. Gotta give it a second, it doesn't take long. I don't know if it depends on how many you have listed. Right now I only have like maybe 530 things listed, listed on eBay. If you have a thousand, maybe it would take more. All right, we're gonna start with this Imagine Next lot. You just click whichever ones you want. So these are new and I believe these are already on Mercari. So these are what I listed yesterday. And this stuff would sell really great on Mercari. So we're gonna take these toys. So how many did I take? One, two, three, four. Oh, it tells me nine is selected. Didn't even see that. So I've got nine selected. We'll just stop right there. Actually, we're going to grab this rat and Kindle. So we'll do 11. And you just click to continue.
and we're now at Mercari. It's going to import my photos. There they are. It's taking all of my eBay information and trying to fill in where it can. You do have to do a little bit of work with this, but it saves you a lot of time compared to doing it manually. I do have a listing setting that it will take whatever doesn't fit in the title and put it in the description. You can go change all that in the settings. I'll show you that before we, we close up here. But, and spell Jurassic, right? We need to add tags. So we're gonna put Imaginext figure and which one is this the DC we'll put Marvel category is toys and collectibles action figures and accessories and we'll just stick with that one it's filling in the brand for me sometimes it doesn't get it but that's because Mercari doesn't have all brands listed there so let's imagine next they are good color doesn't really matter there is a setting, if you do use this and you don't see your zip code, there's a setting where it imports it every time. On this one, usually I have my setting. So you can have a setting where your shipping is the same thing every time in Mercari. That's what I've got here. Usually I'll pay and ship on my own because I can find the better deal. But I believe I'm going to change this to the buyer will pay and the weight is two pounds. I think we're going to go with FedEx. Select carrier because it's $7.99. Yeah, we're going to do the $7.99 because that's about the best price you can get for two pounds of these figures. Price is set for 30. I do not have the smart pricing set. That is another setting you can change. It's always set to on. So before, if you use this, if you get started using it, there might be some changes you need to use depending on your listing style. And I'm going to hit list. And there we go. Next item. Imports the photos. I do want to change this title. I probably should have looked at my last one too. So we're going to go with Imagine Next, Commissioner Gordon. That's all I need. I do need to change that setting where I get rid of the title in the, or the extra part of the title in the description. I can't spell vehicle apparently. We're going to go with Batman. DC or maybe Gordon. That's just maybe we'll get somebody looking for Commissioner Gordon specifically. And uh, Imagine Next. Actually, we have Imagine Next used already. Let's go with figure. When it comes to Mercari, all the words in your description can be a keyword to, for people to search for. And the tags, I'm not quite sure which one draws in more people. I believe when you have the tags that draws in people from outside of Mercari, but if you put your keywords in here, you will get everyone that's already there. You might see sometimes listings that have like comic, Superman, Batman, it's like a bunch of words down there. You can, you're kind of loading your description. I don't think it's really against the rules, but people will put them way down and it's a way that you will see their item in the search. You can do that if you want. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's a gray area for Mercari, but I'm happy with what I've got here. It's a Fisher Price, Imagine X, Commissioner Gordon. That's straightforward. Somebody's going to find it. Anyway, but I digress. Toys. Go with that. And action figures. Got the brand. It's good. We'll just call him Beige because his jacket's beige. I'll pay this one because this will be a cheap shipping, like $350. Kind of item and we're gonna list it and once you start getting this speed it becomes really fast i'm just going this slow going through this slowly so you can get a feeling of what it's like but if you use mercari then you know what you're doing it's just importing everything when you finish listing all of your selected items you're going to be sent to this listing tab and right now what it's telling me these are all the drafts that i have in ebay that i've never sent anywhere else if I would click start publish loop right now, it would go to the very bottom and list every single one of these. You'd have to still touch them like we did earlier, but it would start listing from the beginning. If you have done these manually, it's not gonna know. So you need to be careful not to cross list something twice. So let's say these genes I listed manually before I started using this, it doesn't know that because it doesn't have a record of sending it. If I don't pay attention to what I'm doing, I might have the same thing listed twice. You can go filter here of from draft, publish, ended, and all. So these, if I go to publish, this is everything I have sent to 
Mercari using reseller kit. This is where we started with this lot of figures. We did these and these and ended with this tablet. Here's my entire history of everything I've sent to Mercari from eBay. I've done several. There's more than that. There we go. It's got to take a little bit to load. I had more than I thought. So these are the very first things I did. And as you, you can see here, I actually sent these to Poshmark as well. This is where I started my Poshmark closet. And not done really great there, but I don't think I've got the best things that really need to be in Poshmark. Poshmark is a brand new beast to me. Let's move from the listings tab to the settings. Here is where you can adjust all the behavior of your drafts when you're doing them. Autopilot for mine is set to an hour, but you can have 10, 15, or 20 minutes. I'm not selling that much, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I have just a habit of going to the other site that is still listed and delisting it from, but I do want to make this work for me, and I also forget to leave it up too. This doesn't work unless you leave the app up. So if you want Autopilot to work, you have to leave it running in the background. And I've got Delete from Mercari and Poshmark. For the photo fit, I like mine on because sometimes I might have a lot of information in a picture and I don't want that to get cut off. You can add description at the beginning or end of a description. You can choose to have the remainder of the title in the description in Mercari, but I have this off and I kept seeing some of that as I was doing those listings, so I'm not sure if that's something I just didn't refresh. I'm not sure about that one. You can also have text added at the beginning of the description and the ending. This is not default, so you may need to go in and add your zip code. I always had to fill that out in the beginning and Right here it was, you could just add it for yourself. I do need to add the SKU to my description because I have a lot of boxes in my garage that are not showing up on Mercari. So that's where I put my SKU number in this section where I know to grab something from. I always have to go look at it in eBay to see where it's at, but this is something I've missed. I don't like smart pricing. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm just using it right now as off and I'll choose what I have smart and what's not on my own. I just do free shipping because sometimes if it's a heavy item, a larger priority item, I'll have them pay for shipping, the buyer pay for shipping, but right now it's set to free. I can take it one by one. Most of my first class are gonna be free shipping. My priority items, which I have less of, are gonna be buyer paid, but right now I just have my free shipping set for Mercari. And then Poshmark and eBay. If you're going the opposite direction, which I'm not, but you can take a look at all these options on your own. All right, everyone, this concludes our tour of resellerkit.app. Tell me, what did you think? For me, I believe it's the most easy, simple, cost-effective way to cross-list if you're using eBay, Mercari, or Poshmark. It can definitely save you time, and hands down, time is our most precious asset. When you do sign up, please use my referral code FLIPLIFE, which I'll have here on the screen and in the description, and you're gonna get 50 bonus listings. Plus, I'm gonna get 50 bonus listings, and that's gonna make me say, Thank you. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping in. Please give me a like, a subscribe, and a share if you found any value of this. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Stay safe and have a great flipping day.